And I know that rain would help with allergies, but it would. were we going to see any anytime soon? Uh, probably not anything significant until next week. I know many are complaining. At least you'll have some good weather to pick apples, yeah. go to pumpkin patches. And a little cooler. A little cooler. It'll actually feel like fall. So I know many are looking forward to that. And we've got really no more 80s in the forecast. We have been in a dry stretch, as many of you are aware. 12 days without rain so far in the Burlington area. It's possible that we break this streak today with a little shower coming through later this afternoon, but that's still up in the air a little bit. With all that dry weather, we've had high pressure, and high pressure usually means not a lot of wind. The air has been very stagnant, so it's been trapping some of the wildfire smoke for days. We still have pockets out there in the yellow of moderate air quality, a level one out of five, so there's still a touch of smoke left over at the surface that is slightly reducing air quality, but watch how the smoke leaves. You've got this northeasterly flow coming in off the Canadian Maritimes into the weekend, and that is a cleaner air direction. So the smoke, whatever's left of it, should be totally gone by later Saturday and especially Sunday. You see all that gray moving off to the west as that cleaner air comes in from the east. So right now, high pressure still in control as it has been the past couple of weeks. We've got this big ocean storm still stalling off the coast of Cape Cod, bringing quite a bit of rain to southeastern Massachusetts. And that's really what's driving that northeasterly flow that we'll have into the weekend, and that will work to cool us down as well. So it's sunshine to the north, clouds in the upper valley. You see from Lebanon down toward Brattleboro, lower Connecticut River Valley, even Bennington seeing some overcast skies right now. I think that's generally how it will go through the rest of today. Although by four, five or six o'clock this evening, even in the Champlain Valley in northern Vermont as well, northern New York, there could be a couple of spot downpours, a couple of quick showers. You see them, not every town gets one. They would only last 15, 20 minutes, but there's some football games going on near Middlebury. Just a little heads up on what otherwise is a beautiful evening if you don't get that shower. Saturday, there will be more cloud cover, and that's when you'll notice a cool down, especially along I-91. Highs will probably only be in the 60s on Saturday, and there's still a risk we could see some light drizzle or some showers on Saturday afternoon. So not a totally dry day across the region, but certainly no significant rain in the forecast for this weekend. Sunday should be a little bit drier and a little brighter than Saturday. Could start off with some clouds in the morning, but you see it generally in the afternoon. We're expecting more sunshine. And then as we head toward Monday morning, that's when that next system is approaching from the west. High pressure initially will be locked in and very stubborn, so it'll be dry through Tuesday for some of us. But as we head toward Tuesday morning, that high pressure is going to start to move off to the east and a low pressure system from the Great Lakes will move in and that could bring uh, a widespread round of rain, a nice soaking needed rain for some of us, especially in southern Vermont. And that would be later Wednesday, perhaps not coming in until Thursday of next week. So we got the shower chances in here for today and tomorrow. Sunday, first day of fall, not much of a shower chance. And then we should be totally dry on Monday. But look at these cooler temperatures. When we get the showers back in here for next week, we'll only be in the 60s for highs. <laughs>